All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Skip and Loafer, episode four. four. I can't get enough on this show. No, we can't. It's just so sweet. It's just it's, wonderful. It, it makes me want to talk in funny voices and just and mm -hmm. just cuddle up in a blanket and be like, all right, yes. This is a snuggle bundle of This is happiness. a snuggle bundle, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I and, will be the loafer mm -hmm. and I will watch the skip. We will all be the loafer and and skip together mm -hmm. because yeah, it's just it's precious. It's precious and it's precious. I, it's you know, pure. like and every time I watch the OP, I'm like, yes, I am here for the romance, absolutely. And yet at the same time, they just give us episodes where it's like, hey, let's just watch, you know, like people in high school like figure out their social situations and it's mm -hmm. really sweet and i'm just like yep I, uh, we can also totally just do that if the whole show was that i'd be okay yeah uh yeah. iwakura is a wonderful main character mm -hmm. uh she's doing a great job carrying the overall direction of the story yes um and yes. the way in which she has blundered uh everything into having an actual friend group that is all kind of hodgepodge together with some very interesting like People desire to spend time with this mm -hmm. person, and thus that person's right. influence brings these people, and then that person wants to spend time with these. And that's the yeah. fun kind of stuff where we can get into the character dynamics that makes this story actually relatively deep, despite the wholesome fluff that mm -hmm. most of it is. Yep. Um, yeah, it, it's really exciting to then think about, oh, they're going to have struggles. They mm -hmm. are going to have drama that they're going to have to get through at some point and, later. And they all have struggles in their own different ways. And even if, mm -hmm. you know, they might have their own insecurities in different ways as well, mm -hmm. they might be able to supply for the emotional needs of the people around mm -hmm. them in ways that they wouldn't have thought they would have, like, they that wouldn't exactly. have even been a thing. And yet it's like, hey, mm -hmm. no, your uniqueness, your being you right. is actually exactly what I need. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. ちょっと聞きたいんだけど、君のグラスの。すみません。人の記憶に残る素晴らしい役者になると熱烈なお誘いをいただきましたが、私には他にやるべきことがあり。そんな。It's like she's <笑> <laughs> oh no, and now he's gonna go through her to get I, Sosuke. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I mean, obviously, obviously, like, there's a difference between, like, it being, like, a manipulation thing versus, say, like, you know, if you can help us out, though. Yeah. That would really mean a lot. Uh huh. And then, and then no, Sosuke's see, like, "Fine, I'll join the club too." No, like a good politician, she's learning how to do bribes. You know, like, hey, grease a palm here, grease a palm there. Right. I, I feel like at this ways. point, she's not in the good politician. Uh, no, like, no, absolutely. But she's she's setting the stage where she can have her persona MC year, where just she becomes student council president and gets perfect grades and like. Everybody loves her and all that stuff. Oh no. Dude. Dude. I just want to know why. <laughs> so. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah. Completely destroyed. Ah, yes, logic out why. みんなに知られたくないってことなんですか。ああ、いや。いや。みたいなドラマ。ね、なんで演劇ばいらないの。ダメダメ。私がな。ちゃんとしてそう。アウトオブイット。マイアカデミックカリアイズアマイクロチップ
Yeah, good. Told him everything. Good. Okay. Mm, but why? Mm. Yep, covering the eyes, nice. Uh huh. <laughs> They're trying to join the government. <laughs> Hold on, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, it's right. Modern problems require modern solutions. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Right. 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 Oh. <laughs> oh. And they have to probably leave town to go yeah. get Kyoza. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like the one place in town or like driving eight miles out or something. Yeah. Uh. Oh. How are the comf levels in this show so damn high? Hmm. Get the little smile. Mm -hmm. The warmth of the cheeks. A little, little color coming back in. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh! All right. Okay. 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 Okay.自分のためにやってることでも知っててくれる友達がいるのが嬉しかったな。いい友達なんだね。うん。うん。これからもし島君にやりたいことができたらどうなっても島君の行きたいとこ行って美味しいもの食べよう。あ。あ。約束ね。わあ。絶対に入らないそうで。いや。うん。バックオフ。いや。友達なのですが。うん。うん。
Teach me your ways. Yes. Kakui <laughs> des! Probably one of the few times she's actually been called cool for that. Yeah. <laughs> it brings a tear to her eye! Yes! Oh, oh no. Oh no. She's gonna wind her up so tight. Yeah. Right. Oh so, no. So, so. It's a dysfunctional relationship where they encourage each other's worst tendencies. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We must run. <laughs> yes. They missed the bus. Yep. And maybe just because she asked that question, too. Ah! なんかそこにいたんで家猫ですよね。三つみさんって真面目だけど。で、根本的に。いや、15分ぐらいで次のバスが来るっていいですね。いや。猫と遊んでたら一瞬じゃないですか。ああ。ああ。もう焦っても
<laughs> She's like, you were so terrifying there for a right, second. Right. <laughs> it's actually great because in a lot of ways he showed his true self there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like with her. Yep. I actually kind of like that she was scared of it because she might have her own like kind of like aversion initially to when he starts showing his true self, you know? That like that more intense side. Yeah. Yeah. That more like. I'm not a fluffy person. I'm right. actually the kind of person that goes, right. That's, that's why. Dumb. I, why are you doing that's that? That's why you know? I need the fluffy stuff because, right. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ah, cool. This was so, a very sweet episode. We as confronted. Usual. We confronted Kanematsu. Mm -hmm. So he is uh, aware that mm -hmm. she knows, and she is aware about uh, yeah. Sosuke's uh, acting career. Uh -huh. But what's cool about this is that she was able to communicate it. Mm -hmm. to Sosuke. The fact that not only did she communicate, but he was able to kind of do his fake thing of like blowing it off that it's like, it's not that big of a deal mm -hmm. so that she wouldn't, you know, basically freak out and have like a big you know thing with this, but yep. also would very emphatically put up the defensive, you know, shield wall of like, yeah, no, exactly. sorry, he's not uh -huh. going to do it. And no, it's not going to change. And please stop bothering. Please stop bothering it. about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because uh, kind of out to the fact that like after somebody's like, "Hey, can you not? Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about it, right? I don't want it to be brought up." Right, right. The fact that the first thing you do, well, not first thing, because you know that was a little bit ago, but like there was a whole week of time. Right, yeah, but yeah. then it's the okay. I'm gonna corner the person that you're closest with at school and be like, "Hey, did you know that he was in this thing?" Mm -hmm. And you talk to him about it. That's um, that's right. Like, like the earlier bit that that I can just chalk up to missing the social cues because he's so excited, right? Mm -hmm. This is like, no, that's actively like that's that's being kind of shitty. So yeah. you know, I like that the drama was like avoided, you know, mm -hmm. because it's like, ah, oh, yeah, it gets brought up, and and then also like when she brings it up to to Sosuke, you can tell that it's the he's like, oh, I'm gonna have to talk to this dude, you know, right? Like, um, but then she's like. Oh no, she actually smooths things over and she's like, I I think he's just trying to, you know, make sure that his club is, you know, is doing well and all that stuff. And it's like you can you can tell that Sosuke like kind of like relaxes about it after that point of like, okay. Sure. Right. Yeah, right. I don't I don't need most, to most people don't do these kinds of things without a certain level of ignorance. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is generally when you've got an area that you're sensitive about, like an area that you're really like, oh, this is a really like potential pain center here, and people end up like pushing on it, they don't realize how much they're pushing on your pain center mm -hmm. until you literally are like, ow, stop it, that hurts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because most people are not like malicious people. What they're actually just doing is they're being ignorant and mm -hmm. they're like, oh, I don't see anything outside of my own bubble. Cause you know, most, right. most kids, you know, teenagers are kind of selfish and you know, oh, just sure. really, really just think about their own stuff and things like that. Right. So the fact that he did have that confrontation with him earlier, but then still ended up doing this here, either this kid is dumb or uh, this kid is ignorant. I did not sense the slightest bit of the maliciousness in mm -hmm. him, but it is the kind of thing of where it's like, Yo, uh, hey, dumbass, um, he gave you a very, like, strict, like, no, not yeah. cool. But there is a, there is a fun kind of element of this here, because I'm, 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 I'm kind of glad this happened from the writing standpoint, mm. because Sosuke would have gone the whole the yes. rest of his high school thing right. lying, uh, -huh. uh, about who he was. Yep. And so uh, the and not, not in the way that you'd think, actually, the, the idea that, not that he's, like, hiding the acting thing. Mm but about presenting himself as this way when actually that's not who he is. Sure. Um, so the idea that we now got our first incident of him kind of accidentally doing it means in some ways it's like he's testing the waters to be like, hey, she knows about my secret. Yeah. So now maybe she'll be able to accept me when I start showing that little bit of who I am. Right. 
Yeah, and and she's able to go to bat for him, so it's the yeah, like they're friends, right? Well, well, they're friends, but also like if if this aspect of him that's like the very like um, direct and and you know that that colder side as she called it, right? The cold logic. Mm-hmm. If that maybe is something that came about as a result of his whole experience with being a child actor and like you know either needing to mm-hmm. stand up for himself or however that whole thing went, yep. if. He's not in a situation anymore where, oh, hey, he's the only one that will actually stand up for him because maybe his mom is pushing him to do this, right? Mm-hmm. He actually has somebody that's alongside him that will be that that shield wall that puts up the barriers. Right. And it's like, no, you're not going to stop talking mm-hmm. to him about it, right? Then yes. that's, you know, he he both can feel comfortable sharing that with her, but also he doesn't necessarily need that to no. the same degree that he did back then. No. And so he can maybe let the softer side of himself that he is adopting as the like the mask as the mask yeah let that actually maybe become an actual part of himself where it's the oh, yeah you know masks are a part of yourself though yeah i think there's this there's this dichotomy that's way too binary of thinking that like oh because your mask is a mask you have to throw it away in order to accept yourself no no the mask is your persona it's the thing right. that actually is you like it is you you the, we're the multifaceted that, creatures so well, well not just that it's it's important that you accept the mask the mask mm-hmm. that's literally the point of persona right four. right yeah. you're not me no you you are me that's that's the point uh-huh. that's that's the whole fucking yeah. point so if he's going to end up slowly leaking out his true self that is him saying i've already kind of accepted in some ways this but i haven't accepted my my true self mm. i need to i need to give that more, sure. more time to uh be be shown because he's shown it with people that he views as uh not antagonistic but in some ways uh not really his friends right so he's able to uh he's able to use it with uh specific precision mm-hmm. but he definitely keeps it away from the people that are his friends right so marrying those two is going to be going to be fun yeah just in the same way that marrying these two is going to be because <laughs> i can i can totally imagine it getting to the point where like you know and this yes this has nothing to do with the episode we're talking far-flung future kind of a thing but like oh, God, she gets yeah. to the point where she's like all right i'm doing my government thing and then she has to do like some like i don't know like important meeting or something like that and then he's like the super like super personable like stay at home husband that like helps like navigate the things yeah, or that's, whatever. That's, yeah, yeah, we're we're not getting anywhere near. Yeah, that. no, I know. But, but um, no. but it's fun having these kinds of characters where you can imagine those kinds of things because yeah. you can see their exactly. trajectory so clearly. Which, speaking of the future, this episode mm-hmm. then tackles also the let's enjoy the present and yes. live in the moment. With a character that is unable to enjoy and or live in the moment mm-hmm. because she scheduled the moment out of existence. Right. Which is fun because in a lot of ways, what she's doing is the adult thing. That is what adulthood is. But you're not adults right now. Uh, so yes. you can relax a little bit, make a schedule, mm-hmm. maybe not that schedule. <laughs> right. And and even you know when you're an adult, right? It's the it's the understanding your own limits and moderations and yes. stuff. If it's something where it's causing you to like you know lose have, sleep, ha- yeah, lose sleep and everything, or not get good sleep because you're so worried yeah. about all this stuff, maybe you know maybe you'll... start off with a beginner schedule before you jump straight yeah. into you know well uh, every six minutes. Uh, yes, of... for for me to, for me to me absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, but then also uh, for um, uh, Takamine because. It there there was a negative that that it was having on you, right? Mm-hmm. Like you know the the way that you were constantly stressing and things like that. Mm-hmm. Like this this feels uh this feels like it's touching on again that idea that I was like like I mentioned where I was like oh cool we have the person who's wanting to go into student council stuff that is very much putting their best foot forward but doesn't have everything figured out right, right? to sort of like dispel the 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 myth of the, you know, the perfect model student that has it all, you know, figured out. And right. so now we have the person who is, to her, that perfect model student, and no, she still very much doesn't have things figured out. Nope. And in fact, maybe the reason that she's like this is because she didn't get into the middle school that she wanted, right? Mm-hmm. And so now we can get a situation where her own um, uh, discipline that is still not as maybe disciplined as she would consider most people in the big city to be Mm -hmm. right that we saw with like the quiz and all of that stuff and like studying over break and whatnot 
that she sees as being a big fault of hers, that's actually the thing that's able to help right. the person that she looks up to. Yeah. And so it's just, I, I love it. It's, eh, it's, it's like poetry. <laughs> it rhymes, you know, and, and the, um, yeah, I just, I, I really like how this show gets at the, the, uh, things that certain characters have in, as insecurities or faults or shortcomings mm. or whatever being the things that actually help somebody else because yeah. we're all different people. And so the things that you might be bothered by for yourself are not necessarily going to be other things. Like they're not necessarily going to bother other people, you know? Mm -hmm. And in fact, that might be something that they are inspired by. So cool. Yeah. yeah. There's an element of where, when we look at relationships, um, even though it's primarily subconscious, you are looking at the ways in which if you incorporated that person's energy into your life, mm -hmm. it would benefit you in a way. It is a, Selfish utilitarian uh, look at things, but it is actually why most relationships exist, I would say, to yeah. begin with, mm -hmm. is that Sosuke looks at Mitsumi and is like, oh, shit, I I've been looking for you all my life. Like, right. like mm -hmm. where have you been? And then for Mitsumi, she's needed somebody that can basically give her that uh, breaking of the illusion that high school is going to be where you suddenly become an adult and everything right. is going to be super serious uh -huh. and you're going to need to be this super hardworking, crazy, uh -huh. you know, dedicated, you know, path to success for the next, you know, four to 10 years all planned out and everything. And while yes, there's elements of that kid that are wise and can definitely help and can you definitely out, definitely help you yeah. out. You don't need that in order right. to have an enjoyable high school experience and that's where i love that this show kind of comes back again to the idea of this time mm -hmm. what is this time they are children right. but they are uh, you know going through adolescence they are going mm -hmm. into adulthood yep. so oh this is your last time to be a kid to have right. your salted caramel popcorn mm -hmm. and just not give a care about anything to do a silly carefree dance like in the op right right you know? so yeah. So the fact that the show is giving us the opportunity to explore that and really early in this narrative, breaking down her idea of being this right. born to lead superstar politician that's going to solve the great uh -huh. you know, uh, economic sorry, crisis of Japan, uh, underpopulation issue of yeah. rural Japan. Yeah. Yes, you can still do that, but you can also still live a happy and wonderful and mm -hmm bubbly and fun and fluffy life in high school picking up stray cats or you know missing right. cats or what have you and yeah. missing buses and going on little you know also times of jaunts where you're super focused on like i'm going to help this tr you know student council treasurer with all her random yep. shit uh-huh right the very you know um <laughs> just like with uh takamine Maybe the fact that you actually asked for the report and everything mm -hmm. ends up starting something where then like, oh, hey, and then you appreciate the report. And then all of a sudden, wait, then the soccer captain is like, oh, wait, shit. Uh, am I am I crushing on this person? What's happening here? You know, that's something that, that could have happened. That could that, that could happen. That, that yeah. could happen. Right. Yeah. You know, and and, you know, if you uh, stay focused on the on the schedule down to the six minutes or whatever, you might miss it. You might miss you the know? bright shining sun that's the, know, the blush right, of the right of the high, high school student yeah, just yeah, like exactly. back thirty feet away. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. But you know, this is a wonderful anime, and getting getting uh -huh. these times where they can also have the uh, the little uh, romantic blossomings of you know pinky Indeed. promises and yes, encouraging and like, wait. encouraging Sosuke to be like, hey, go after a dream. Hmm. If you find a goal or a dream or something like that, pass or fail. Let's then go out and celebrate afterwards. And I love that it's something where it's like uh, in in high school terms, potentially a date that you're like, hey, setting that up there. But two, she's not at all thinking of it like that nope. because with what happened with Fumi, which was just such a sweet little moment of backstory uh, that we got there. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. My heart. Like yeah. that that's just a a constant I feel like for for me with this show it's just okay mm -hmm. all right my my heart my heart gets a good cry or a mm -hmm. good you know whatever but yeah we're going to get a lot more of that I can tell mm -hmm. oh, but 
Y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. <gasps> if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon and get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about animated shows in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.